go to celebrate my birthday My channel birthday I'm an irresponsible YouTuber Let's celebrate then with a video about the HP Microserver Gen 8 I'm going to show you what you need to mount uh, an SSD drive in the optical bay at the top of uh, the server. This is the second attempt on doing this video. The first attempt was 20 minutes long and was not such a great quality. So I want to give you guys good quality content. So I will do it for you. I think no one should waste 20 minutes watching my face on YouTube. As I say, it's uh, already a year that I am on YouTube. I don't have as many videos as I would like, but I prefer to go slow with quality rather than go fast and put out uh, a lot of crap there. And so it would be really appreciated if you go through this video and if you like, you give a thumbs up. And if you really, really love me, to give me even a subscribe. I really can't wait to get to the 100 subscribes so my YouTube URL won't be called uh, UCOF underscore dgubc to isnc so you get the gist yeah but enough lame self advertising let's get into it this is the eighth generation of the hp microserver uh, it's a fairly old version of the ProLiant series uh, from HP uh, and I bought it second hand. The previous owner already had an SSD drive in the server but actually strapped it with a velcro strap next to the PSU. It was not done in a bad way but I was not so cool on having the SSD sitting on the power supply due to electromagnetic interference and heat. A much better placement for the SSD will be on the uh, optical bay at the top of the server. To achieve that, you actually need two things. You need uh, a Zeno uh, drive caddy, the Zeno is the one I went for, and do not forget, very important, to get a slim SATA to SATA adapter, uh, which will be uh, necessary to connect the uh, drive caddy if you have a normal SATA cable. I forgot to buy that originally and then I had to wait just for the little adapter to come. I uh, went for the StarTech uh, Slim SATA to SATA adapter that come into uh, a cable. And both of the items are uh, linked in the description below. You can find more compact uh, Slim SATA to SATA adapter, but I opted for the one coming uh, with uh, a cable to avoid to put too much strain into the CAD connection and to ensure that I can do a, a fairly simple cable management inside the case. And you will see, I think I did the right choice. The Velcro from the SSD and the PSU uh, was removed fairly easily and didn't leave any uh, glue residues, so I was lucky. Uh, but you know, there can be a risk of doing things with Velcro strap, you may leave then glue residues when you try to take it out, uh, if you try to do it, you know, the gangster way. So I would strongly advise to go uh, with the optical base so you avoid to attach things on the server and on the SSD drive. All you have to do then is simply to slide in the SSD drive in the caddy and ensure that it's snapping in the uh, SATA connectors at the back uh, of the uh, Zeno Caddy. The Zeno Caddy is actually looking uh, pretty nice, uh, made uh, you know of aluminium and it's look uh, pretty solid and it's doing the job very well. The only thing that I didn't really like about it is the fact that I actually put all the fake DVD and CD-ROM uh, symbols and logos uh, in the front even they went as far as having a fake uh, eject button uh, on the top uh, which you know it's a little bit tacky and I believe they're just recycling possibly uh, the front panels of real optical drive I'm not sure however you can actually remove it so it will be easy enough to paint spade black uh, eventually but yeah I wasn't so mad about it in the end I leave it as it is but you know that's an option if you really annoys you you can just remove it and spray paint it. You need to ensure then to simply remove uh, the cover of the optical dry bay uh, from HP by using the clips at the side uh, and then just sliding it out. And then you just take your caddy with the SSD drive in and you just slide it in from the front of the case. So what we are doing here, we are actually using the uh, SATA 5 port, which is a optical drive ODD 
uh, port on the motherboard and that's cool and everything the only thing you need to be aware of if you're not actually using the right controller for the four drives uh, which I don't for example then the BIOS uh, on this server will refuse to boot from the optical drive SATA port it won't boot from the SATA 5 port no matter what uh, you can go around it by actually installing your bootloader uh, on a USB pen drive you have a handy internal USB port on the uh, motherboard or you can also leverage the micro SD uh, slot that you find next to the uh, USB. I opted for the USB pen drive, I installed Grub over there and everything is booting fine but just be aware of that you may get mad trying to boot from the optical drive if you don't know that. Also as you can see I had a uh, angled uh, SATA cable and if you actually want to fit uh, the uh, CAD successful, successfully with the Slim SATA to SATA adapter I will suggest you to put the angle part of the cable on the SATA port on the motherboard and leverage the flat version of the cable to route it uh, up nicely in the uh, optical bay and as you can see is actually staying very flat and nicely with the uh, slim SATA to SATA adapter on the top of the case no issues whatsoever it's fitting very nicely we can then just slide the case back in and screw in our spring loaded uh, thumb drive and we are ready to go and see if everything boot fine so as you can see a fairly simple job the server booted just fine after that everything is in order um, so just you know you need to have the Zeno uh, caddy or any equivalent one really uh, and very important the slim SATA to SATA adapter I will suggest you to just order together the caddy and the adapter if you're curious I'm using the HP micro server uh, with uh, Debian and uh, ZFS on Linux it's a pretty slick setup so let me know in the comment if you would like to know more about uh, Linux and ZFS on Linux and how to set it up on an HP uh, ProLiant server. Again please uh, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if you find it useful and if you really really love me please give me a subscribe, I really love uh, to get at least to 100 to be able to customize finally my uh, YouTube URL because it's impossible to remember at the moment. So thank you everyone for watching and see you next time.